I'm Patrice Burton and I'm a dancer and I'm moving to LA soon so I feel like it's necessary for me to make my dreams come true. I do want to be a person that is a force to be reckoned with in the industry. I love Arizona because of the sunsets. I feel like I've lived here my entire life and I never get tired of seeing the sunsets. My grandma always said that she would pray to God for a daughter and she was never able to have a daughter and so when I came along and my dad and my mom had me so young, she almost felt like she got a chance to raise the daughter that she never had. So I have eight siblings. My older sister, um, we have been tight since kids. She grew up with her dad and um, I grew up with my grandparents, but it, it's just hard for us even now to have like meaningful or super, super deep conversations. Not necessarily meaningful, but just I don't know, it's different when you grow up with someone. I also have a brother that I don't know at all. Um, I think he's about 15 or 16 now, and um, my mom put him up for adoption. It was a closed adoption, so even though we would love to try to be a part of his life, um, we won't get the information until he's 18 years old. So it's kind of like I'm a big sister to so many people but I don't get to be a big sister you know I feel like I'm living so much of my life to impact other people when I I don't know if I'm even really impacting the ones that should be the closest to me um, not that they matter any more than anyone else but to me they they do matter more than my siblings you know I wish I could be there for them you know be there when my younger sister went to prom and you know, her little date came over and watch her walk down the stairs and I already know those are things I'm going to miss and I wish I could change. I wish I could change that, but you know, I have to work with what I've got where I'm at and I do have to follow my dreams and chase my dreams so that in the future I can make things better. In the future I can bring us all together. So it's, it's worth the sacrifice. Now that I'm older, I'm trying to really work on just being confident in exactly who I am. Um, you know, yeah, maybe I wasn't told all the time by my dad when, it, when I was growing up that I was beautiful, or, you know, this and that. But I know now that I am. And there's this, there's this kind of this thing where the confident dancers are always in the front of the class. And so my thing is, I try to take class in front right smack dab in the mirror, looking myself in the eye and and just bringing out that confidence. Um, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I don't fit in up here. But then, you know, the music starts going and there's nothing but just I'm looking back at myself and I'm like, this is me. Yeah, there's other girls around me. Yeah, they may be prettier than me or taller or thinner or whatever, but I have myself. Right now, my friends joke with me. Um, and they say like, don't change, don't get all LA on us. And you know, people change every day, everywhere, you know? So I, I am concerned about that. There's a little bit inside that's kind of like, please don't change, please don't change. I've worked many jobs. I've gone to school for different things and it's the difference in not just having a job and every day I'm working to pay my bills and oh, I'm working because I got these kids and you know, but that I have an opportunity to pursue something that's not only going to provide for a life for me, but that really will make me happy. And that in 50 years, I can look back and I can tell my grandkids or hopefully my great grandkids, this is what life is about. Like, don't limit yourself ever. I think when we try to define art, most people can come to a consensus and say that it is something that maybe is emotionally uh, stimulating. My biggest fear is completely failing. I mean, I don't know everything there is, you know, out in LA, but I know that things aren't going to be exactly like I expect, but maybe if the industry is just totally not for me, I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid that this is what I've invested everything into, my heart, my spirit, my money, my time, and that it's not going to be for me. That, that does scare me. Because what else would I have after that? If I could tell little feisty tomboy Patrice anything, it would be to stop hiding. 
don't suppress your your talents. Go after it. Go for, Go it. for it. Because okay. it's going to serve you well. Don't wait. I waited too long to, to choose to pursue my dreams.